no, I think, I think the jab is key. The post this Saturday, Saturday is scheduled for 12, 12 rounds, rounds, and it will be and for, the for the IBF, IBF Heavyweight Championship of the World. The world. Let's, Let's now welcome, welcome the, the participants. Yes, the time has come, and the one of the fiercest, heaviest bout in history of boxing is going to take place as uh, Anthony Joshua uh, came chill out uh, ahead of the fight against the confident Daniel Dubois. This happened here yeah, on the 17th September uh, when there is a grand arrival being uh, you know put in place by Sky Sports in <laughs> London. First, the defending champion from Greenwich, from Greenwich London, London, England. England. His professional, His professional record, record 21, 21 wins, wins two defeats, defeats with 20, with 20 of his 21, 21 wins, wins coming, coming by way of, of knockout. knockout. Let's, Let's welcome, welcome the reigning and defending, defending IBF, IBF heavyweight, heavyweight champion, champion of the world, world Triple, Triple D, D, Daniel, Daniel Dynamite, Dynamite. Now, let's go to the camp of uh, the Dubois. He said, I'm the champ. Also going through the ropes for the second time in 2024, two-time world champion Dubois, who has had 21 uh, fights, two defeats, 20 knockouts, makes the first defense of his IBF heavyweight title. London's 27-year-old said he was confident and relaxed. Said, and I quote, I'm feeling good, confident. And the Bua said this, and he said, I'm just relaxed and soaking it all up, soaking up the energy. It's good. I'm just going to feed off of that energy and build it up. I can't wait for it. It's my time. It's I'm ready as you for choose it. to defend to your IBF title, title on Saturday, Saturday. How, are how are you feeling? Good, confident, confident um, just relaxed, just soaking, soaking it all up, soaking up the energy. energy. It's good. It's good. This will be this your will first, be first time, time fighting at Wembley Stadium. Wembley Stadium. How, are How are you mentally, mentally preparing, preparing yourself for what, for what is to come? come. Record-breaking record crowds, crowds and the whole atmosphere. Yeah, yeah, I'm just, just going to feed off of that energy and just, just build it up. up. I can't, I can't wait, wait for it, for you know. It's, it's my time. time. I'm ready I'm for it. You guys are going to see that this is my time. I'm the man. I need to go out there and legitimize it. I'm the champ. But uh, enemies I'm, the, I'm the man, that's what I need to, you know, go out there and legitimize it. I'm the champ. We've seen a few times, times the build up. You have you said, said you were going to knock AJ, AJ out. out. Now we're in now fight week. Do you stand by that? Is that how the fight goes on Saturday? Yes, by any means necessary. You know, victory. That's it. So, as Anthony Joshua is here to challenge Danebua for high behave heavyweight title at Wembley Stadium coming up the weekend of September 21st, 2024. So, heavyweight Anthony Joshua and Danebua Dubois made grand arrivals for their world title fight at Wembley Stadium in London on September 21, the Tuesday. The, the peers squares off in the schedule for 12 rounds main event with the IBF title on the line. Former two-time unified heavyweight champion Joshua was had 28 uh, win, 28 um, fight with um, three defeats, 25 knockouts, makes his second ring appearance for the year and looks to once again uh, land a world title. The 34-year-old native of Watford in England here yeah, said he was chill out until saturday when it gets real he said that uh, when you get into the studio with a record 96,000 crowd then 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 the energy will come in and then you can see the reality so he said and i quote it's really a blessing it's a big blessing we had the most important thing for people right now so they are all here coming out to have a good time with us as i just said and he said it makes him feel so important. He also said, I'll never forget, I started boxing late. I still look up to, to a lot of people. I can put myself on the other side of the fence. I've been on the other side of the fence. I haven't always been on the red carpet. I always understand. Now I'm on the red carpet, how to treat people. I'm never going to turn my nose up at people. That's just not my style. He said it. Well, we say that when he was being asked about because he was just chilling out, just 
after uh, um, Daniel Dubai has been called out already, who, who just uh, went straight in uh, with little force about it. Uh, but uh, when Anthony Joshua is on the red carpet, a lot of people have to come out there in order to for him. He's just signing autographs, busy, and just chilling now. You know, uh, he said, and I he said, and I quote, he said, on Saturday, I'm going to be standing behind a curtain and they are going to say, Anthony, 10 seconds, and I'm going to walk out into the stadium and I'm going to feed that energy. That's when it gets real. At the minute, we are still hours away. So I'm chill out. <laughs> That's what he said. End of quote. He also said for that. He said, if I draw a line and put fear on one side and confidence on the other, but I'm still going into the ring. What one am I going to choose? I'm confident. I believe in myself. And I think that's the right mentality to have. Uh, I've never had a red carpet in my life. This is a blessing. They are doing big things. It's good that we are doing joint ventures together now. I've been in Saudi. It's good to be home. It's not small. They've made it massive. I'm fighting a uh, Queensbury Promotions fighter as well. So it's a new age for boxing. A good era. If you ask me, I hope that the next generation coming through can benefit from now, all of this as well. Hey, it's not hey, just hey, about our generation. Fight fight week week this kind of for you. You're a seasoned pro at these, but how do you feel going into it? You know, events like this and the fans welcoming you. It's really, it's a blessing, a big blessing. Um, we're the most important thing for people right now, so they're all here coming out to have a good time with us. Makes me feel important. <laughs> Yeah, how does it feel? I mean, there was a lot of autographs, a lot of pictures you just did. Do you mind that during a fight week? Nah, not at all, because I'll never forget, I started boxing late, so um, I used to, well, I still do, I look up to a lot of people, and if I, I could put myself on the other side of the fence, I've been on the other side of the fence, I haven't always been on the red carpet, so I always understand, now I'm on the red carpet, how to treat people, I'm never going to just turn my nose up at people, that's just not my style. Let's look ahead to Saturday night. Yeah. Got a round of applause there. Let's look ahead Saturday night at Wembley Stadium. You have fought there three times before, but this time it looks like it's going to break all records in terms of the British crowd. Comparison to the other ones, how big is Saturday night? Massive. Don't Massive. feel it at a minute because I'm still in like training camp. But I think on Saturday, mm -hmm. I'm going to be standing behind the curtain mm -hmm. and they're going to say, Andy. 10 seconds and I'm going to walk out into the stadium and, and we're going to feel the energy and that's when it gets real so uh, at a minute we're still like hours away so I'm chilled out I'm chilled out yeah you seem more chilled out relaxed and confident ahead of this is that due to the fact that your great recent performances the new team you've got around you and the setup that you've got no just my mentality is if I draw a line and I put fear on one side and confidence on another but I'm still going into the ring what one am I going to choose? I'm confident. I believe in myself. And I think that's the right mentality to have. Obviously, this is Riyadh season, Wembley edition. Ambassador. You're a Riyadh season ambassador. How proud does it make you that this is here in London? 100%. I've never had a red carpet in my life. <laughs> but this is a blessing. They're doing big things. And it's, um, it's good that we're doing like joint ventures together now. I've been in Saudi. It's good to be home. And even though I'm home, it's not small. They've made it massive. I'm fighting a Queensbury promotion fighter as well. So it's a, it's a new age for boxing, a golden era, if you ask me. And I hope that the next generation coming through can benefit from all this as well. It's not just about our generation, it's the next generation coming through. Definitely. Well, best of luck this Thank week. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. So, among the bouts featured on the Joshua vs. Dubois undercard, we're all going to have Anthony. On that very Saturday, we're going to have Anthony Cascade uh, of Nether Highland to. Um, He's going to defend his IBF Super Featherweight title against former two-time uh, Featherweight champion John Warrington uh, of England as well. While Eatington of Scotland and unbeaten Joshua Boadze of Ghana clash for the interim WBO light heavyweight title on the night. Also on the card, an all British middleweight bout between Ishmael Davis and Josh Kelly, Tyler Denning, Defend is European middle bet strap against fellow Brit Amza Shiraz. Plus, Mark Chamberlain and Josh Padley meet all in 
and all British contests at heavyweight. So, the fight Saturday. Who do you think is going to take the charge? Who is going to win it? Now, the cards are spread on the table. Now, the conversation continues. Let's have your comments on this. It's going to be really, really explosive. It's the real season in Wembley on 21st. I'm going to give you more as uh, we approach the time for the main event. Don't forget to uh, like this video. Uh, if you have not subscribed, please consider cons uh, subscribing to this channel so that you can get when I uh, put new uh, updates Joshua. and more videos to come. But he has gone through it. Yeah, he absolutely has. And, and you feel it. You know, it's, it's impossible not to feel it because... I mentioned that that stadium tour, Wembley, Cardiff, Cardiff, Wembley, and he was so big at that point. We were lucky enough to cover all those fights, and you're on the inside of something, this massive machine, and you're aware at the time of just how big it is. And then, of course, he goes to America and loses to Andy Ruiz in the most unexpected circumstances, wins the rematch, but it's not in the UK. And then, of course, we have COVID, which was just the most extraordinary thing where everything went on hold and he boxed against Pulev but in front of a thousand people and then Usyk he gets beaten by Usyk and beaten comfortably and then he loses a rematch and, and what happened after the fight with him seizing the microphone and that will be imprinted on people's brains and as I said previously the reboot apart from a garden will have, ex will have escaped them to an extent so it's been a roller coaster ride and I think at times I remember talking to him before him to losing twice to an exceptional fighter in Usyk it'd be impossible not to be bruised from it you know the scrutiny that these guys are under that the, the profile the level of fame you know it, it's, a, it's a cruel business boxing you know what I mean hero to zero you know what I mean it's nothing as ruthless as it. I mean don't get me wrong all sports could be ruthless to some level you play but in football you play terrible today you play next week you can redeem yourself pretty quickly take some while to get yourself back up there in boxing you know and he'll know that, you know, because he, he's felt that a couple of times now. So he knows that Saturday night, if he doesn't win, he'll be getting slated again. If he wins, he's a hero again. It's that boxing, it's that brutal. That is the fickle nature of some boxing fans. I'll tell you what's interesting here is um, Anthony Joshua most certainly taking his time. You could probably add together the walks of all of the other fighters tonight and it would still probably be about half of what AJ's done so far. Not a fan hasn't got a selfie. Every fan's got a glove signed. It's nice to see. It's really good to see. It's really good to see because we've seen this firsthand. We, we, we've been lucky, you know, we've been there pretty much all the way and He's a private kind of a guy, so I wouldn't say that I've ever really got to know him particularly well, but you see the scrutiny, and you see the attention, and you see the criticism. And it doesn't matter whether people claim it's personal or not personal, you will take it personally, because you are a person, and people are talking about you, and they're questioning sometimes, oh, how much does he really want this? Is he really made for this? And these are people who care more about what they do than you could possibly imagine as ordinary mortals, because if they didn't, they wouldn't be where they are. No, don't take it personally, just business. Well, this business is very personal to me, because I am the business. Do you know what I mean? He is the boxer, he's the business. So, of course, it's personal. How can you not? But I also wonder, you know, he's choking up there, he's smiling, he's got time for everyone. I wonder, is he thinking, there ain't going to be tradition of the Riyadh season card. Well, he took his time coming down the purple carpet and, and he seems very, very relaxed. You would expect that because he is, as Ali said, he's a seasoned pro at this and he will be an absolute expert now at navigating fight week giving his energy to the right things receiving as much energy as he can which is what he did there he's feeling the love and the energy of the crowd and that's that's a really nice thing to have he'll know how to do this won't he without taking any gas out of his tank and just feeding off it all in a positive way what would you say that's 15 14 minutes walking down there we knew, we knew we'd uh, make the most of that but that's part of control trying to control what, how you can of the time uh, and it's even something a message over to, 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 to Daniel, he'll see that, he'll see how, how massive, how popular he is and they're all little things that, that put you in place to get you into the psyche of, uh, of the guy you're fighting also I wonder at this age and stage in his career does he, is he 
thinking, you know, there ain't going to be too many more of these. You know, even all going well on Saturday, a win, and even if the Fury fight happens, you know, he, he's in the tail end of his career now, so maybe he's thinking, you know what, I'm going to really take my time, soak it up, enjoy it. Not that he does it anyway, but just that go that little bit more. Perhaps we're looking for one of a kind, the cultural exhibitions around the world, all traveled and places. Stay tuned to my channel, KB Jojo Newsbox. We are intend to give you every vital information, hobbits, interesting places, you know, pieces of interest, tourism, and about people, culture around the world. Stay tuned on this channel, we promise to give you more. It's true. And if the fates should bless us with a moment of reprieve We all could stand together in the silence and just breathe Rejoice for all the happiness, mourn for all the grief It's all